My name is Scott Griffiths. Um, I grew up in Ashland, and uh, so I've lived here most of my life. I uh, moved out to the East Coast to go to engineering school for uh, four years, and then um, after that, lived here again. Uh, went to Northland College, finished up my degree at Northland. Lived in Cornucopia for a number of years, and then moved out to Colorado, uh, a major extractive industry place, a place that has an enormous amount of wealth based on extractive industries. And the whole time I was in Colorado, there was a piece of me that felt really uncomfortable and never felt like I really found a, a home there. Um, I loved a lot of the things about that place, but there was always this piece of me that was yearning for the lake. Um, and so I came back, um, my wife Kelly and I moved back in 2009. Um, one of the major things that we knew we were coming back for um, was for our own health um, ab about being around the fresh water and having the best water in the world flowing out of the ground in these artesian wells and um, but we also knew that we had to come back to be stewards of this lake. All this talk about resources and and the value of resources and the value of the ore body down in the Pinocchies and um, you know when I when I hear that that type of argument um, it really always it baffles me because I think about water around the world and it's so apparent that water is the most valuable resource in the world. You can live without iron, you can live without gasoline, you can live without wood, you can live without a lot of things. You die in four days without water. And I've been to Africa and I've been in, down into Mexico where people are having a, a hard time getting enough fresh water that they need to drink and you see the effects that that has on community and we live in a place where water is plentiful and I think it's easy for those of us who live around here um, to disregard the fact that we have clean water. It's really easy to forget how valuable it is and how scarce it is elsewhere in the world. And so when I hear about a company that wants to come in for profit and dig an enormous hole in the ground and sell this, this valuable resource to uh, China or, or anywhere else in the world, for instance, and put that water at risk, it, it makes no sense to me. And the indigenous people of here, they speak about seven generations and thinking seven generations into the future. Seven generations into the future is 120, 150 years into the future that we should be doing things now that are gonna make things better 120 or 150 years from now. I listen to people who are really coming from a place of fear, they really want jobs, they want a sustainable living. They want to make some way that they can that they can live here, that they can make a living, that their children can come and stay here and make a living. And and I hear that argument and I was at a hearing in, in Ashland County and I heard a, a woman saying, I want my grandchildren to be able to live here. And I fully appreciate that sentiment of wanting your children to be able to have a sustainable living here. If you're thinking about wanting your children and your grandchildren to live here, why would they want to live here if the water is bad, if there's no more deer, if you can't eat the fish? Like, that's why we live here. And if we want to make this a place that, we, that our children can live, let's make it a place that they want to live.